dome. A dome. <laughs> all the sensitive dome. Let's yeah. start this shit. It started. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, there you go. So, today uh, I had uh, V go to Gage again because they had some more of the cookies brand. Um, they had the monster cookie in, so I had to grab that, and then she grabbed the Mac 1. 65 and 60. I mean, what? you pay an extra five bucks for a blue package, I guess, but... Is that weed in here or is it an edible? Well, that's weed. Okay, Wait a sitting, minute. We're going to sit how here much? for an hour that's for eight? the podcast. Yeah, yeah. Eight for the what are you guys doing? Yeah. Yeah. And it costs how much? 60, 65. For how Damn. much? Well, that's eight. cookies. So. It's cookies. Cookies in fucking California is 75 and eight. Is that like the supreme of weed? Apparently? No, so but you know, tell them. It's burner. Yeah, it seems like... Uh, you know, uh, you ever heard of... Bernier, B E R N E R. Well, he's, he's part of Wiz Khalifa. Got like a yeah, I know you talking about. He's, he's a well-known grower. Yeah, he, How about that? No, he's not even a grower. Rapper. No, he's an entertainer. Yeah, yeah. He's, and he came up producer. with producer. Ta- Taylor, Taylor Gang. Taylor Gang. So yeah. Taylor Gang. Influencer marketing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, he put out albums. They just didn't do. He's very affiliated well. with like Santa Cruz Shredder. They did a bunch of shit with them. Really? Yeah. What's, what's my nickname? Up on here? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty easy, huh? Or Ice All right, Man. we're gonna do the Mac One first because it's on the board first. <laughs> Good um, reason. That's about it. So again, little buds, always little buds. Why is it always little buds? I don't know, man. Well, not always, but the majority of the time. Because it's cute. It's cute. It's cute. It's cute. I mean, it's thick though, man. It's really thick. It's cute. Yeah. All right. So the way we do it is there's pencil and paper. Um, you basically, it's a, the scale is 1 to 10. Show and tell. Yeah. 5 yeah. is the middle scale. So basically, think of it in this sense. You're at, you walk up to a smoker circle, your buddy hands you a joint. Now, when you hit the joint, you hit it one time, that's a 5. You hit it twice, that's a 6. You hit it three times, that's a 7. If you microphone it, you know, you talk, you bullshit on it for a good 5 minutes, that's an 8. 9 is, I mean, this you want to have shit? the cut. You know what I'm saying? You want to find out how to get it. So what's one through four then? I'm getting there. Okay. Okay. Ten is orgasmic. We haven't found one yet. Nothing's been ten. Four. I'm such a grateful guy. I think everyone might be a ten. No, trust me. (laughs) Four. (laughs) Four Four is like, oh, no. (laughs) What's your idea? Two, three, seven, seven, six. Um, I really, well, I guess I didn't put the actual. Agility cat. Yeah, he, she's good at that. Um, four is you Clinton it. What? Clinton. Don't inhale. Don't inhale. So, again, you're in a circle. Your friend hands you a joint. You Clinton it. You pretend you hit it. That well, way so you don't make them feel bad. Like the name of the scale? Like I don't know if there's no, any it's way just that the meaning Clinton behind knows. it. The meaning yeah. behind the four. So four is like, <clears throat> I'll hit it, but I'm not really, I'm not inhaling. I don't like the taste, but I'm going to pretend I like it because, you know, you're, not, you're trying to be nice. A you're three, being sociable. Yeah. A three is, I'm not hitting it again. A two is I look at you funny, you know, for giving it to me in the first place. A one is I'll shoot you in the head. And one is <laughs> I shoot you in the head. One is like this is gross. This, this is be called yeah, weed. This you, is tobacco. Why weed. did you give this to me? And we've had some ones. And they they were expensive. They were expensive ones. You won't get a one from Sean. It's too loving. Grateful to be here, guys. Well, we're not grateful. We're very mean. Oh, on the scale. Yeah. On the scale. <laughs> I'm going to stick my nose up. No. So, what we try to do is we let it go around twice. Uh, everybody hits it twice. That way... Before we talk about it. Yeah, before we talk about it. That way you're not really... What if I want to... If it's a three, do I want to hit it again, though? If you don't you hit it again, you can decline. Just, just, just don't talk about it. Yeah, just, yeah, just don't give your you opinion right. until you're asked. Okay. I'll pop that Oh, I freaking forgot to change oh, out the grinder. I forgot my water. I have two waters in your car that I intend to bring in there. You can go get me. It's never too late. It's never too late. They are not. I mean, they're pretty far away, though. Yeah, we did know you Like five hours. Wednesday? Wednesday? I know. <laughs> I know what it's like to park here. I'm going to need it, you know? Keys are in there. In this in your palette? My password is 48309. My area code. Or just take it. <laughs> yeah, that's our area code. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, if you're you looking could, to steal my car, I'll steal things from inside of it. Yeah, good luck finding just it. Use my, yeah. Just use my area code. Just use my area code. Someone's going to be up in that 
area code popping that number on every car. <laughs> and you won't be the only one that used it. Oh no, no way. No way. Shit, I just sat on a podcast with the yeah. my car. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, but do people know what your they car is? They don't know where you're from. They, they don't steal know some what paperwork you drive. from my car. <laughs> they don't know what you drive. I drive a Lamborghini. They're hard to miss. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you can't miss yeah. that Bentley. <laughs> yeah, that's not a box of pork. A Lambo. Oh, I almost did that. That's on camera. You almost did what? <laughs> like... <laughs> It stuck to my, like, the paper oh, stuck. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Went out to pull it out. Oh, no, it wasn't even that. It, I just almost, like, took the hot with my finger. Like, yeah, we were watching these podcasts. 20? Oh, shit. Maybe. Well, didn't you have one with a lot? I have one one video that has, like, 1,200 views. Shut the fuck up. Making it, baby. Let me, let me show this face then real quick. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's Val exactly. Kilmer right there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that's exactly what Brent they did. They call me Iceman. <laughs> that's what Brent Ice did, Man. and the, the screenshot that they posted is Brent. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know Big Brent, it. he's got that great smile. Yeah. You know, I set that moo up on his phone because we are on his thing because we have the same <laughs> security system. He's just never changed it. I set it like that noise because it's annoying and stupid. And like, who would want to hear that? Yeah. And it All forced him that. to have to find it. <coughs> no, I don't care. I don't care. You live on the farm now. Oh, you you're the one that set that up. I just chose the noise. Yeah. <coughs> different. We're gonna hear. It. They have like ducks <coughs> on there. They have a bunch of random stuff. Yeah. Well, did you just complete? Oh, you went to Rudy first. Oh yeah, I always go to Rudy. Well, I didn't know. I was like, how did that? To happen? the left, to the left, to the left. Anyway, so yeah, it's a rapper guy. Have you seen? Oh, I thought you were singing Beyonce. I was. To the left, to the left. Isn't that how you pass your joints? To the left. Always. I go clockwise. Puff will pass to the left. Yep. So, have you? They're on Amazon Prime. Do you have Amazon Prime? Mm-hmm. Obviously, you're you're white. Um, <laughs> and we heard your area code, so. Rudy and I have discussed my whiteness before. <laughs> <laughs> Not many people can be Val Kilmer. Not too many. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, there's a there's a show on there called a hunt the hunting the hunting the hunting. It's all up in Saginaw. It's like this dude um, named Prozac. He like takes a, place in Saginaw. Yeah, Prozac. Every house, yeah. His name's his name's Prozac. He's a rapper. From the Saginaw area, and he started doing shows. Me too. Called Haunted. It was like the first one that I watched with her too. <coughs> I like unless they're playing camera tricks. Like you always watch TV and you're like, yeah, if they actually show me evidence, it's gonna be great. You know, I'll be able to see it. You, you want to see got cameras, it. Mm-hmm. and then you see the shit happening. You're like, yeah, oh, is that real? Just, they're just fucking with me. There's no way. Is it? And then like you watch their doors opening. Like, I've never seen Ghost Hunters where doors actually <coughs> flung the fuck open and shut. That. That's what I'm saying. You have to I'm watch it. I'm saying it's not real, but, like, if you want TV... I okay, can alien know. guy, you better not say it's not so, real. So, I don't... use magnets. Maybe. I don't know what I necessarily believe and don't believe, but when I walk in and out of my bedroom, for some goddamn reason, my door shuts a little bit every time I walk in the room. And it's pressure? not it's not wind. I can get it. How big is the door? You want to hear exactly what's been happening in my do you ever go on Reddit? Yeah, I do. So I put this on Reddit. Yeah, I got I thousands of upvotes just from my story, right? This is a real <coughs> story that's happening in my house if you'd like to hear it. Okay. I'll read it because it's much more well yeah. driven. This is simple. There's it's just um a rat in his house that bangs its head against the wall. It's a black shadow figure that I finally saw, right? You saw it? Yeah, myself. Here, I'll just read it the way I wrote it on Reddit, okay? Hello, everyone. Forgive me in advance as I know nothing about ghosts, premonitions, or anything of the sort. I'm not someone who would deny their existence, but I certainly haven't put much thought into the validity behind it. I have no experience on the subreddit. And my goal is to hear the opinions of others. I'll try to dish out as much info as possible. This is long-winded if I need to get the whole story out. And if this makes, if, I, if you make it to the end, I appreciate you. I don't know if the sub gets a lot of people bullshitting, but I am not. Starts with background info. 
little disclaimer. In 2016, I moved into a new house that was built in the 60s, but is completely gutted and redone. It's about 3,000 square feet. The garage was converted, converted into a bedroom or a quad. 3,000 feet out the basement. Four floors with a small staircase that leads to each floor, and it sits on about <coughs> half of the property. This house is blah, 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 blah. It's just describing my house. And I have a 90-pound pit bull who will guard the doors and the windows and will run there at the slightest sounds. I had my first and only kid in 2017, and the event started happening after he was born. Both my wife and I have had experiences, but they never once happened at the same time when we're together, only when we're alone. She is not a quote-unquote ghost or real person at all starting with the noises. Around the time my son was born, my wife and I started spending more time apart because, pause. <laughs> Which one is this for smoking right now? Yeah, I the Mac. Know. The Mac. I'm, I'm putting thought in. The Mac Daddy. Yeah, I know. But you got to get your score down because we're about, everyone's got their scores, I think, almost. But I'm, i got to confirm mine. <clears throat> and I, I need to... I probably should save this conversation I just, for I time. just write it and then flip it over. <laughs> what is going on now? Yeah. Yeah. You can write the name, whatever one Cause it's, it's, just it's, it's just for you to keep it down that yeah, way. Is that right? Yeah, because when we started, everyone was just saying what they... And by the time it got around to the last person, they were influenced. They were influenced they were by the other people. Shit. So this way you don't write write down. influenced by me. Yeah, and, and it doesn't give you the chance to change it. I can just accelerate this. There's no need. I wrote mine now before I take us to what happened. Yeah, so what, I've been what, hearing been going on. I've been hearing noises in my house, but ridiculously loud. Like like, like what kind of noise? I'm sitting down un underneath my bedroom is uh, this the music room where Sean and I now play music. It's got my drum set and stuff. Okay. And I hear something this loud. Jesus, man, that loud! Like I jumped up. I was like, the fuck! I heard these noises. Nothing in that room could make that noise. Fast forward a couple weeks later, the room next to mine is <coughs> my wife's office, sits next to our bedroom, and it goes <coughs> right on the wall, 20 feet from my face. And then my wife has been hearing all these noises, I've been hearing noises, it's just random, right? I'm in my son's bedroom, and I'm putting him down, and I just had this weird, creepy feeling. So I open the door, which is so unheard of, and I just look, he leaves me down. <coughs> And I'm just looking out, and I'm putting them down. I see a black shadow figure, full six foot, walk right across and into the bathroom from my bedroom to the bathroom. And like, dude, as clear as day. Now was it the, was it blacked out where you couldn't see any blacked features? Out that you couldn't see. I could see. But you could see, see the see silhouette. Features. It was a silhouette. Right? I could see it. it as a silhouette. But you couldn't see any eyes, nose. Just all black. Just all black. Mm -hmm. So it was, but like, it, there's been nothing. How many times playing, have you seen it? Just once. But I have felt this presence in the drum room where I'm playing drums. I set it up. It's a, it's the size of a garage. Mm -hmm. And when I would sit there, I'd look back, and my back was to the whole room. Because you get a feeling that something was... Three times when I've been playing it to the point where it felt like it touched me. And I, ah! I jumped up, and I got scared, and do I went get, up. Do you get cold touch when, they touch when he touched you or it touched you? No. Was it a cold feeling? No. It was, it was just, just a touch. Just a it touch. was a touch. And then enough that I had to re unwatch because I have an electric set, and it's a 10-piece. It's a lot going on. I took it all apart, and I rotated it. I spent like five hours redoing it just because of that feeling. What kind of drum set you got? It's an Elisa's DM10. <coughs> oh. Like electronic. It's yeah, a, yeah, it's yeah. It's an electronic, so I play it through the speaker. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I've got a little one. Yeah, yeah, well, you should watch those fucking shows. You would probably creep the fuck out. It would creep me out. I don't anyway, even believe that shit. I could read you a long-winded story, but that's... Not it. Well, we can get back to that. Um, all right, so let's do the Mac. Uh, Center Creek LLC, I think it's the company that grew it. I didn't... I forgot to take time to actually look up the company. Where did you get purchased that from? Gage. Uh, okay. So it. Gage. And it's, where are they located? They are... Isn't that Ferndale? Yeah, Ferndale. It's okay. a Ferndale place right off south of Nine Mile. Okay. Um, and then, like I said, Cookies is open up on the 31st. Wanda? Uh-huh. I don't even know what Oh, it's on Wanda? Yeah, yeah so I can play Wanda it late at night. Yeah, I'm not waking anybody. I don't have one like that. I got a little cheap one. Everything's on a... Yeah, You're learning it regardless? I mean, you saw Wanda over there where the car nuts are... What's that place called? 
I don't know. Who's next? Whatever. It's not hard to find. Look right. it up. Weed maps will tell you. Uh, well, I'm going to go five. I gave it a five. Okay. Uh, I just, it was kind of sharp. I, it tastes like Mac. Mac isn't really, ta- like, it doesn't have a lot of taste to me. It's just kind of sharp and peppery. Mm-hmm. It's not really, like, it's hard to describe. That's all I can say about it. It wasn't <clears throat> horrible, but it wasn't my, I don't know. I didn't like it that much. I didn't think it was as good as the first Mac we had. Remember we had the Mac one a couple months ago? Mm-hmm. That one was way better than this one. So, uh, I mean, that's all I got to say about it. Rudy? I gave it a six and a half. Ooh. I like the sweetness. When I draw, draw in, I got that sweet. See, you're not supposed to give extra score. I got that sweet. Oh, uh, right stuff. I'm going to write down one. I got that I sweet think. thing, you know, and uh, it's a kush. Mac 1? Yeah. No, it's Miracle Alien Cookie. But, I mean, is it a, 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 no, it's a indica? Yes, it's an indica. Right, that's what I meant to say. Okay. Yeah, I gave it six and a half. Six and a half. Yep. Cut. That's it. It's a hybrid. Basically. I gave it a four. Mm. Um, I wasn't crazy about it just because it is so faint. I mean, yeah, there's... Yeah. It, it tastes like Mac, but it's it's not... It's not real potent. It doesn't make me choke. But, I mean, maybe Mac doesn't do that. We had the Mac the one time. But, I don't know if you were here for that. Yeah, and we've. I think we've tried it twice now. Yeah, I think we have actually. And this one, it's all right. Val, yeah. I gave a six. Good lord, you wrote a fucking book. Well, I was writing <laughs> down all my reasons because I'm gonna get really high and forget it. <laughs> I heard a really loud noise when I. <laughs> it was going boom, boom. I disagree with Rudy on it. I wrote not sweet at all. And I, I compared it to diet soda. Really? So if you're drinking like a Coke and then you try a diet Coke, Different. diet Coke's yeah, not like sharp. bad. It just has like a very much more like neutral taste. It had yeah. a very smoky taste, but it was smooth and it had clean hits. So it flowed really well. Yeah, it well, was clean. But Cut nailed it when he said it was faint. Yes. Yeah. It, like it didn't have anything that defined it. It was just means that all you taste is that like green smokiness. Yep, yep. What do you think, Moose? Uh, well, I did think it was a bit harsh. Uh, you have to say smoking score. it. What? Your score. Yeah, I'm getting it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey, hey, let him, no pressure. Like let him get a, there. I feel like it was a bit harsh of a smoke, and uh, and I didn't honestly get too much flavor like out of it, yeah. and uh, I almost felt. Um, so I, get, I originally I gave it a five down the middle, but then as the high kind of kicked in, you know, made me feel a little better about it, so I gave it a six. <laughs> All right, there we go. As long as I mean, if it gets you high, that's the point. Yeah, that's kind of the that's one like, of the yeah, main points. Six. Okay. Six. Man, I dog. So six it is. <laughs> I feel bad. No. Yeah, yeah, I, I, go I back. Just, it was smooth. It was I smooth. mean, not, it did not have much of a taste. If it taste. I, 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 I taste. So, see that that shows. I, I tasted a lot in it. Really? It was a nice, full, sweet well, it's taste. because you have a lot of taste buds. There's, like... Yeah, like, what does the air taste like right now? Yeah. <laughs> We're about my cat. We'll be oh, high as fuck, not paying attention my cat will be I should have worn shorts and a t-shirt. All right. So. But here's the thing. Here's, like, if I was just a 1 to 10 neutral scale, like, you figure it out what it means in your own mind, I would give it a 4. But if I was at a party, I'd keep smoking. <laughs> yeah, well. And that's my thing, is like, right. four means you would have passed on it. Yeah, right. my, my thing I'm is, good, good. knowing the price after the price is said, well, is and, and then yeah. the expectation. Well, you're not um, supposed to think about the price. But you're in a circle. You're supposed to hit it. We're just thinking about the yeah. quality they, of the bud, they, taste, and, and eye. I don't, don't know. Don't think like, about the price. I didn't get it in a baggie though. But it yeah, would be I got, it, there with your close I got it presented yeah. a certain way, so I have an expectation once I see that. Yeah. But it'd have to be really shitty weed for me to pass, and I don't think maybe I'm wrong. Any weed that you're gonna get at this level is gonna be shitty. Oh yeah, oh it's plenty of shitty. Yeah. Oh it's 